I'm Adam Savage, and today I'm meeting with some combustion engineers here at GE to discuss the phrase, fighting fire with fire. It's supposed to be impossible, right? Well, that's actually the subject of GE's Unimpossible Mission series. When you tell an engineer that something's impossible, they take it as a challenge. And I've come here to talk to the engineers about how they met and mastered that challenge. Also, to help them set some stuff on fire. Oh, we're here. Tony, tell me how you guys decided to fight fire with fire. We thought, wouldn't it be cool to take the sound of a fire and use that as a waveform that would extinguish a fire? So you recorded the sound, and it's making this pop, 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 or brr, or rrr, ah, Actually, some kind of sound. We call it growl. During oh, startup, okay. sometimes engines make a growl kind of sound. How did you use it to put out fire? So the waveform was used to drive a speaker. A speaker put out a fire? Literally a speaker. Mm -hmm. And we found that worked for a simple candle, but not for more complicated flames. So we modified it and made a vortex generator. So the bucket and the hole in the end focuses the sound coming out of the speaker in order to give it more energy? That's right. OK, so this is your first prototype of a way to amplify what's coming out of the speaker. And this is where you guys ended up. Wow. Um, can, we, uh, can we try it out? We can. Awesome. What do we need to do? We've got a candle here and a lighter, so yep. take that. OK. We're adding a little smoke just so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to take this fire sound. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send it to the speaker first at low amplitude, and then I'll bring it up. OK. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it went out. <laughs> That totally worked. So each time I'm hearing one of those pulses, I'm hearing one of those waveforms being sent out the speaker. Exactly. Explain to me how this works, though, Tony, because fire needs oxygen to burn, and yet you're adding air, and you're putting it out. Why? It starts with wax, mm -hmm. which is the fuel. And if you have a candle burning, it melts the wax, introduces it to air, and then it can burn. So okay. it's a very stable system. Yeah. And as I increase the amplitude, suddenly, that flame went from just wobbling back and forth to it just blew out because the heat got taken away. Can we do more than one flame? Let's give it a try. OK, cool. Oh, beautiful. One shot. The sound of fire putting out fire. Well done, sir. Beautiful. Thank you. So there you have it. It is, in fact, possible to fight fire with fire. And if you're wondering why acoustic technology would be important to a company like GE, it's not only important in the development of engines, but also in fields like ultrasound, the development of new mammograms. And wait a minute, you haven't watched this whole explanation video without watching the original Unimpossible video, have you? OK, that's like flipping to the end of the test book. I want you to go back and watch the original Fighting Fire with Fire in 360.